Right guys, welcome to set three and pass. Um, my name is Bit and here I'm gonna show you a new profile for a deck that I've been considering playing this format. Now, as you know, the last profile I released was for the, I believe Drytron deck. Um, and as you know, Drytron got hit pretty bad um, in the last ban list when Eva literally just got banned. I think limiting Eva to one wasn't really a hit, uh, but banning her totally definitely was. I know a lot of people are moving on to different builds of Drytron, but to be honest, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try it with a new deck, new format, and the deck I've chosen is Sky Striker. So going from combo to a bit more sort of control play style. So I'm quickly just going to go through my deck for you. Um, it's nothing special, but I think I've thought a lot about the choices I've made this format. I'm going to run with this deck and see how far I can get. There's a couple of events going on, a couple of regions I want to go to and test this deck really well. I'm not really into sort of playing online on Dueling Book or uh, YGO Pro, any of that kind of stuff. I learn a lot more in person. And I do want to do some uh, remote duels with this. So hopefully we get a chance to show those. Anyway, on with the deck profile. So you have to play three Ray. Uh, it's never a bad card to have. You know, it helps you to go into literally everything in the deck uh, in terms of extra deck. Two rows. I think this is good. Three is too much. Two is just enough. One, I might try it and see how it goes. Three Widow Anchor. Amazing card. Two Afterburners. Um, I did play one Afterburner, one Jamming Wave, but I think this format people are going to put up a lot more boards. I know there's going to be a lot more back row, but I think um, this sort of destroys monsters first and then back row as opposed to back row. I've got back row stuff in the deck, but I think it's best to have two. But I keep playing, keep finding out what is a good ratio for me. One Shark Cannon, one Multi-Roll, one Hornet, one Era Zero, and of course engage the best card if they ever bring this back to two it will be crazy but i think one is good and then the hand trap lineup is pretty standard i play three effect veiler and there's a reason why i play that and there's three ash blossom again generic three imperms doesn't trigger uh triple tactics and lastly um not really a hand trap but it's one of the cards i use forbidden chalice um, I'm really just trying this because I don't want to get triple tactics uh, talented but again it is a good sort of um, quick play that you can chain to a lot of things but again that's just play testing and that's what it's all about and then I play the three of blowout card there can only be one cards amazing this deck can utilize it really well so why not utilize it um, yeah okay so as I said I'm learning this deck so I've gone with something that I understand. So I'm playing Foolish Burial, Metal Foes, and Upstart Goblin. So essentially I'm playing 39 cards. It is a 40 card deck, but I'm playing 39 cards uh, with the Upstart. And having this in here helps a lot when it comes to side decking, because essentially I've got three cards that I don't really mind getting rid of and putting something else in. So that's why these guys are here. And then the power spells, I suppose, the one-offs, Harpy Feather Duster, I play one Reinforcement of the Army and one Core Buy. Again, Core Buy is just making sure your combos go through. Not much to explain. And then I do play the two Fusion Destiny and the two Bricks that go along with it. Again, you have to play. Well, I don't think you have to, but I really want to, wanted to test and play the uh, Destroy Phoenix Enforcer in this. And it works really well because under there can only be one. You know, you've got Warrior. You've got Machine Types with your Sky Strikers you're sort of okay to go. And then the extra deck, you gotta pay three of the Shizuku. Amazing card, add Sky Strike at the end phase. And if you go first, this is literally what your board looks like. If you have a Sky Strike um, Rose or Ray, this is what your board literally ends on. And then three of the Kagari, two Hayate, um, one Kaina, I'm thinking about cutting out Kaina. She doesn't really come up that often, but when she does, she does sort of stall for turn, but I'm not too impressed with this card. Uh, maybe I'll take it out, maybe I won't. Uh, just need to play test it a bit more. Again, you gotta play Zeke, get rid of problematic cards and then link her off and then they don't get whatever card you've sent off back. Uh, the reason why I played the um, Axis, sorry, the reason why I played the Effect Veilers because of the Chris uh, Halka Fabrax, Needle Fiber, whatever you wanna call him into Selene and that climbs straight into Axis Code. Again, that really ends games. And this deck does need a bit of firepower. There's quite lacking, and I think Axis Code brings that uh, firepower. 
um, you know, clear the board, remove stuff, and just swing for uh, 5300. And I play the one Anaconda and the one Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Amazing card. I'm quite surprised that um, this card is still is so good in this deck, especially with there can be only one. You know, you keep destroying things and he'll come back because he's a warrior. And the rest of your stuff is either Spellcaster or the one zombie. And you've got uh, Ash and, the, you know, you've just got warriors and machines. And with the side deck, again, I'm not too sure about this format. Um, I have my stipulations about how it's going to be. So that's why this side deck um, is a reflection of that. Play three Droll. Everyone's going to search, especially so. That just sort of stops their more crazier plays. I know a lot of decks like um, Sword Soul and maybe Virtual Vault can play through it. Um, PK most definitely. But again, it is just one of those things that it does stop decks in their tracks if they haven't got anything good in their hand. Uh, Nibiru, again... This would be the Forbidden Chalice in my main deck, but I'm just sort of decking it out um, because I think it's, I don't know, it's just a testing period at the moment, but that's what I would have instead of Forbidden Chalice in my main deck. Artifact Lancia, again, I think PK is going to be amazing this format. This will stop them from banishing stuff. I know Tri Brigade Birds, I haven't heard a lot about them, but they might come back. Um, so it is worth just playing it. And of course, the new adventure card, the Water Enchantress, I know she's got to banish herself to do it. And I think, you know, literally dropping this in the standby phase is, is, is good. Uh, Dark Ruler No More, Breaking Boards. And then Cosmic Cyclones, because uh, Skill Drain is a thing. And three of them are good. And also Scythe. I think this format's going to be a lot Scythe heavy. People sort of turboing Scythe decks. Um, and I think I should explain why I don't play Scythe in this. Uh, mainly because I don't have it. And two, because I don't really think... I would need it um, but again like I said testing the deck so we'll see how it goes well anyway I hope you enjoyed that that was my deck profile with the best card in the game Ray's Bay uh, if you got any comments uh, anything that you'd like to maybe recommend or anything like that please let me know in the comments below and uh, we'll see you next time this is a bit from set three and pass and see you next time